Welcome to the How to Quit Working Show. This is the only show that brings you awesome people just like you who got sick and tired of doing something they don't like and don't care about and have created an amazing life of freedom using what they know instead of just getting paid for what they do. And now, here's your host, the quit working guy, Jeff Steinman. All right, everybody, welcome to the podcast. Today, I am really excited. We have got a really cool guest, and this guy, I'm really excited about him because the thing that I love is Janik Patel left an engineering career in order to, as he puts it, live the four-hour work week as Tim Ferriss lays it out in his book, and he does this with his wife, travels the world using his knowledge and expertise in the fitness arena to make a living and pay the bills and have the lifestyle that he wants. Janik, welcome to the podcast. Hey, how are you? I am it's great. Great to, uh, great to. Yeah, well, thanks so much for, for joining me. I'm, I'm very excited to have you. I, I'm kind of a fitness nut myself. I, uh, I, I really love keeping myself in good physical condition and uh, exercising. I find it makes me so much better. So I actually, I've, I've studied a lot on fitness, so I actually love talking to fitness gurus. I'm not a guru. I'm not an expert like you are, but, uh, but I know, I think, more than the average person, so I enjoy talking about this. So, um, yeah. yeah, so tell me, a little bit about, uh, tell me a little bit about your business. How does your business work, and how does it let you live the lifestyle that, that you love? Okay. Well, first of all, we um, uh, we start. I, I quit my job about eight years ago to okay. get into business for myself. Okay. We. Um, my wife is the um, health and fitness expert. Okay. Um, and um, both of us, uh, she asked me to actually join her in the company, and we. Um, and I said, okay. Hey, um, I was getting bored, bored of my job after about ten years. Okay. And I was, and I needed new challenges. So then I, de- I decided, hey, let's, um, uh, I'm going to quit my job and try something different. So we decided that we had a vision in place that we were going to build the largest personal training um, company in New Zealand. Awesome. Like uh, mobile personal training. So basically, we were going to get a, a, a bunch of personal trainers to go out to clients' homes and train clients that way rather than people going to, um, going to a gym. Okay. So that, w- that was the general vision of what we were going to try and build. So um, we got to a um, several years into the business, like about uh, maybe about three or four years into the business, where we thought, "Hey, this is just too- we were going to go down the franchising route. We're going to train trainers. We're going to we're going to franchise the business." And eventually, you just realize that, hey, um, that uh, it just hits you that you know there's going to be a lot of work in this. Yeah. You know, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way to leverage yourself, better way to leverage your knowledge to actually make this uh, the same return or even more. Okay, so yep. we just um, so uh, yeah. So uh, what we found that personal trainers were coming on board and uh, we and they were stealing our clients. We we're doing all the marketing, but then they'd be undercutting us, mm. taking our clients. Wow. So we were, it was just a huge hassle for us. So we we're running into a lot of the problems, and so uh, eventually, just as an entrepreneur, you just got to come back and just go back to the drawing board and just go, hey, rethink it a bit, yeah. rethink the business, and just and then um, you know and, and during your journey. Uh, um, you know, you read tons of books, like, you know, all about internet marketing, on business philosophies, business, and study business. Yeah. Eventually, I came across this, um, the 4-Hour uh, Work Week by Tim Ferriss, and it sort of changed my way of how I thought about business. Both of us, it changed the way of how we thought about things. Sure. We thought about, geez, um, you know, if we were to franchise our business and it was um, successful, we would be tied to it. We'd be stuck in New Zealand, you yeah. know. And we were um, even would be t- would be tied to franchisees. Well, franchisees can I don't know if you know about the franchise industry. Like you know, franchisees if they're not making enough money, they can sue you. You run into lots of problems. You're yeah. basically like a baby. You're like a babysitter for them. Yep. You know. So so what ha- so what happened? We just had a bit of an epiphany, and going, hey, you know, uh, we want to be in control of our, our our money. We want to be in control of the clients. So we decided that hey, maybe this um this internet thing is going to be the, a, a better way to do things. How how can we Use all our knowledge of personal training and um, getting clients results of losing weight, getting in shape, and actually put it all online and actually coach clients to actually achieve the same goals. So what we did was we actually used all my knowledge of my wife and all, all her systems that actually that she's developed to actually train a client and actually created a coaching program and through the internet. Okay. And, and what happened was that we were actually getting – the same, if not better, results than the client than the personal trainers that we we're actually hiring to train our clients. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, yeah. So 
this was a huge thing for us. The other thing is that our entire, uh, because it was on, on the internet, it was entirely scalable. We yeah. didn't have to focus on little old New Zealand anymore. Yeah. We could actually focus on the entire world. Sure. Sure. So, uh, yeah. That's awesome. So, so it's, uh, it's, it's so cool because you started out with, with this, this, this engineering job that, you know, you were kind of bored with, and then you moved into this franchise model for more freedom and more flexibility. And that actually sounds like that didn't give you what you wanted. It actually gave you more no hassle way. than you Absolutely. wanted. Absolutely. And then you found out that it's all about making money with what you know instead of what you do. Absolutely. So I, yeah. I love that journey. Yeah. yeah. No, it was, um, uh, so, because of the internet, you know, it's expanded our um, business globally. You know, yeah. within uh, within two years, we've um, expanded uh, our business and our um, our client base from you know just one country in New Zealand to twelve countries all over the world. So now it's not just earning like you know New Zealand dollars; it's yeah. like British pounds, euros, yeah. US dollars, Canadian yeah. dollars. And if that's all coming into you, you know, yeah, there's no such thing as a recession. <laughs> Well, exactly. You've got such a larger pool to choose from, and and you know, and you've chosen your clients. You've chosen the people who you are going to work with, and the people that you're going to target in in your niche. And uh, it really, really is an awesome way to recession proof yourself. Now, tell me a little bit about your life. What does your life look like? What 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 do, what do you and your wife do on a daily, weekly basis? Okay. Well, two years ago, uh, exactly eighteen about eighteen and nineteen months ago, we. Decided we got the business to a point where we thought, hey, this is, um, we don't have to be at home. We don't have to be stuck at home mm. um, to actually run this business. We're, we're 100% online. We're not, we, we don't have nobody to report to. We got yep. no, um, no, no employees, no, nobody. You know, we, um, so it's like, hey, let's, let, we read the four hour work week and we thought, hey, we can live this lifestyle. So we, we packed up everything, put everything into storage. Awesome. And and rented out the ha- rented out the house, uh-huh. and um, we we left New Zealand. And the first destination was we got a vi- um, we got a six month visa to get to the United States. Okay. And um, we lived in um, different cities for one month to two months at a time, depending on how we liked it. Okay. We li- we, we landed in LA. We then moved to San Diego for six weeks. Then we took off to Orlando. We stayed there for about three weeks. From Orlando, we lived to Miami, which we loved. Okay. We loved so much. We actually stayed there, stayed in Miami Beach for two months. Wow. Hired and rent, rented an apartment, lived on the beach, you wow. know, one block away from it. Uh-huh. And um, and then from Miami, we thought, hey, you know, next destination, we're going to go to New York. We got an apartment on Central Park. Oh my gosh, two, that's awesome. Two two months on Central Park, uh, Central uh, in New York City, right in the middle of it. Um, and um, and after that, we um, decided to head for Europe. So for the past. Europe, so we spent about a month in Spain, then four months in Italy because we loved it so much. Wow! Um, and and um, because we um, Europe was getting cold, um, because we, it's been uh, over, we know if, we've been traveling for almost a year, and I think we're getting into almost like um, November, December, and Europe was about to get cold. And we thought, hey, we can go anywhere we want. So <laughs> we just bu- booked some, we booked flights back to Miami Beach, okay. and we lived there for three months. Okay. And um, and from Miami Beach, we flew back to Europe. Okay. It's, it's been pretty crazy, eh? It's like um, because having the flexibility and the cash flow, constant yeah. cash flow coming in, to yeah. be do that is um, just amazing. It's almost like a, it's like it's a dream, you know, to do that. We still work, you know. We're still doing marketing campaigns. We still have yeah. our glitches, you know. That's part of business as itself. You're going to yeah. always have problems. You're going to always have um, stuff to do. But I think the uh, the main thing is that um, you know we don't have to. Uh, we have an option to actually move on. We can wake up in a new destination every single, every month. Yeah. Uh, you know, just the, yeah, new challenges, get to know the people of a different country. Yeah. It's, yeah. you know. Well, so so how so do you do like if, pretty, yeah, now I think, didn't you say you're in Budapest right now? Yeah, I'm in Budapest right now. We've oh, okay. been here for about four, week, four weeks. Okay, cool. So like how, how yeah. do you, like when you, you go somewhere and you rent an apartment that you're going to stay at for a while do you, and then do you, uh, you set your laptops up and, and uh, do you, do you kind of work a typical day and then go out in the evenings, or how do, how do you do that? Because I guess you have time well, zone challenges to deal with too. Oh, oh absolutely. You've got time zone challenges. We've set up systems in place within our program that time zones, um, you know, it doesn't, uh, how the program works and all that, our programs and everything like that, we don't, uh, we're not challenged by time zones very much because um, we set them up that way. But in terms of um, contacting people, 
um, uh, everything is done through our support ticket system. Okay. So you know, people. Uh, so you know, pe- people responded to within like a, you know, if people have problems, they can post a support ticket to us, and then um, we have a virtual assistant and. Um, uh, in the United States and one in um, uh, in Asia, okay, who um handle who handle um different time zones uh, for customer support. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, you've, so, you've strategically um, positioned your assistance to ensure that you had good time zone coverage. Is that what what you're saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. What I'm saying, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that that helps and um yeah. So basically, time zones uh, aren't aren't really a, um that much of a. Uh, Okay. That much of an issue, except okay. when we're like you know got personal issues that we have to contact New Zealand because you know yeah. I don't know yeah or something like that. Sure. Then I've got to, I've got to stay up. I'm going to contact New Zealand after I get on to, off the phone with you yeah. because it's about nine o'clock. Yeah, and I got a few phone calls that I got to make for personal things. Oh okay, okay. Yeah, but um, in terms of um, uh, you're saying in terms of what's our work life balance, um, it depends on what we um uh, what we what we got going on in terms of a project. So if we got a okay. big uh, we got a we've got a new product that we want to launch. Hey, we'd we'd be in there. Um, we'd we'd work to, um a eight ten hour day, yeah. you know, or we'd we'd uh, work and we'd get that knock that book out, you know, and uh-huh. then we'd actually set up some marketing campaigns. But the thing with um, developing and, and creating a um, the idea is to do the work once yeah. and get paid forever. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So you create a book, right, and you do it once, and then you get and then you um and you've create and then you can you sell it and you can sell it as many times as you want. Yeah. So the idea is to leverage yourself. Yep. It's yep. all about leveraging your knowledge. All yeah. about leveraging what. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and you keep that you keep that book generic enough that you can put whatever products on the back end of it that you want, right? Because I'm, you know, the thing I always say about my book that's coming out and actually will be out by the time this podcast starts is I don't if if I make enough to get myself a caramel macchiato from Starbucks off the book, yep. I'll be happy. It's all about the promotional benefits and what I make off the back end of the book. Now I'm going to make a I'm going to make a considerable chunk of change off the book itself, but that's not the goal. The goal is to uh, is to, to create those back end products. So so let's talk a little bit about that. It sounds like a like a, a majority of your income comes from these products that you had, and and you said they're not time zone dependent. So I assume what that means is that they are things that are delivered over the internet, and uh, they're they're recordings or or, or audios or or, or uh, books or whatever that that is. So can you talk Absolutely. a little bit about the products that you have on the back end. Okay, so the idea is um, uh, we would get uh, get somebody. So on the front end, we'd actually get somebody on into a, one of our programs. The program is like a, um, you know, uh, it goes on for about three or four months. Okay, okay? That, that enables us to actually um, communicate with the client, build trust, rapport, and throughout the program, we'd be selling a lot of back end products. Um, back end products um, could be a lot of recordings. We've um, we've positioned ourselves as experts within the client's eyes. So we've done uh, recordings with um, people like. Um, uh, I don't know, Dr. Oz's um, uh, business partner, um, okay. his, uh, Dr. You know, uh, Royzen, Dr. Royzen and Dr. Oz. They're, they both um, they're both partner business partners. Both of oh, them awesome. are doctors, okay. and they're the and the um, and they're the creators of um, Real Age. Okay. So we have interviewed them. We interviewed some of the biggest losers, personal trainers. We've um, created a number of um, uh, e-books. Okay. And uh, which range from anywhere between about um, thirty-nine dollars up to about a hundred dollars. Okay. Yep, that we sell on the back end. Okay, now you um, mentioned you mentioned the pro you use a program to then sell folks into these back end products. Is that do they pay for that program? Yes. Okay. That's right. Okay, that's so a, you that's just, a, Okay, and and what's the price of that program? Um that price of that program is $249. Okay. So you're selling them a $249 product and I think what I'm hearing is your strategy is not really so much about the $249 as it's about the other products that you can sell on the back end of that and I I'm, Oh, absolutely. Like yeah. say for example the um $249 pro- product, you know, that we sell, we um, you know, uh, some depending on how how we've actually promoted it, that could be slightly discounted. Sure. That could be actually uh, that could be pa- um split with partners. Sure. And uh, and during, and once we get the person on board, the whole point of that program is to actually try and get people results. Yep. You know, if they have a goal of say losing five kilos or getting more energy or getting in shape, but throughout that process, we're selling them advanced courses of um, you know nutrition. Uh, I don't know, maybe a book on nutrition or a um, or an audio interviews or something sure. along those lines. Digi- digital products that don't that that don't require us to actually do much in terms of um, publishing or anything like that. Okay. Now, do you do any one-on-one work with clients? No. Okay. So you don't do it no. at all. 
No, we um, we totally dished it. We don't want to okay. talk to, to well, okay, we don't really want to talk to clients <laughs> in that respect, okay? Because it takes up too much. It, it's, yeah. it is um, you know, it, you got to value your time sometimes. And yeah. you, if there's a better and and um, like say for example, if you were to um, you know, if people needed to talk to clients, they'd hire a personal trainer. You know, and they'd have the one-on-one support. But we've positioned ourselves, and we tell clients, we go, hey, you know, you're not going to get any one-on-one support from this. You know, you will, um, uh, and and that's quite important. You have to let uh, clients know that, hey, this is what you're going to have to expect from this program. Yeah. You know, when, yeah, if you really want support, yeah, this program is not for you. Yeah. In terms of, like, one-on-one consultations, something like that, this program is, um, the these are the clients that we've got a bunch of testimonials from people who've done the program and this we tell them hey this is what people have found on the program but if this if you need one-on-one support this program may not work for you okay, okay. and we and we give them a hundred percent money back guarantee as sure. well so if they're not happy yeah. in any way we just give them money back sure well so so one of the uh, how, how do you how do you know what types of products your customers want and need okay well our, our demographics are, are female mainly are, are just okay. women Okay. okay, and our, our products are targeted towards women, all right? Okay. Um, and we know that everybody who's going – in our program, if you look at all our sales pages, they're all targeted towards weight loss. Okay. And um, so it's a uh, – so we're in the uh, – so we promote a program, program as a weight loss program. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. And so that's – and that's the type of products that would actually provide them. Okay. So now you're, you're – let's talk a little bit about your niche. So it sounds like your niche is women. And yep. they want to lose weight. Do, do you yes. know? Do you have a range of typically like how much weight they want to lose? Yeah, we tell them anywhere between five and ten kilos. Okay, so typically, uh, uh, yeah, that's that's like um ten pounds, isn't it? Okay, 10, five, yeah, about, about ten pounds. Okay, ten, 10 to twenty. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so so that's not a lot. That's not a lot, right? So this is this no. is almost kind of like uh, this isn't for somebody who's looking to lose a lot of weight. This is for somebody maybe who's kind of looking to lose those last couple pounds that are, in my own experience, the most difficult to lose. Uh, here's the thing with this program. It's not, you know, like we'd market it as a weight loss program, but generally it is a really a lifestyle program. Okay. You know, it is a lifestyle to actually change your entire life. You know, it, it, it does. The, here's the thing with weight loss. It is, isn't that hard if you, um, if you change a few small key elements in your, in your body yeah. in terms of if you, if you just decided, hey, I'm going to lay off soft drinks, I'm not going to drink alcohol, and all I'm going to do is drink water for the next 21 days. Uh-huh. <laughs> You can't believe the results. You know, I, I, I used to be 100 kilos. I don't know. You're looking at me right now. Okay. You do, yeah. Right. When I, when I left my engineering career, I was at 100 kilos, which is um, 200 pounds. Okay. Okay. And as you can see right now, I'm at about 120 pounds. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh-huh. And, um, because I, and um, because of my, my, what my wife teaches works, and I'm an advocate of it. Yeah. Well, and, yeah. and so and you, be- you better be living it, right? Yeah, so we're living it. We're yeah. living the healthy lifestyle. We are, you know, we, uh, you know, we eat good. We eat, good. but at the same time, you know, everything is good in moderation. And we know how to teach clients that, and we tell them, hey, you know, this is not a get, um, lose. This is not a, I don't know, a uh, one of these get uh, lose weight fast type diets sure. where you know you just you know just gorgeous uh, just eat I don't know grapefruit or something. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Very, very cool. So I think it's I think it's awesome that like you you know exactly who you're serving, and you know exactly what kind of what they're what they're looking to do, and that's that's probably how you gained your foothold. And the next thing I want to find out is so how did you go from uh, basically having a personal training business, which was very different, it was was uh, centered in uh, in 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 one place, to branching out internationally and getting known to an international audience for for your expertise and in your wife's expertise okay so what my uh, my wife and I did was we um, my wife and I created a um, a program a simple simple uh, system to follow a 12 week system to actually get people results uh-huh. okay all right we hired we hired personal trainers to um, in a way uh, be a license licensee of this program yeah. to follow to do this program wear our uniforms go to our uh, we'd do all the marketing would 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 get clients and then we'd send out one of our trainers off to this client's home to do the um, to help them out through the tr- program for 12 weeks mm-hmm. all right so the program is actually absolutely proven and um, when we uh, when we ran into a lot of difficulties because we found a lot of um, personal trainers would steal our systems mm-hmm. you know and that 
they'd go to the client and go, hey, um, I know you're paying $100 an hour. How about I charge you only sixty dollars an hour, and you come with me? Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. So that's so those are the type of problems that you'd r- we'd run into. Yeah. So um, you know, and we'd have a huge marketing cost. You know, the acquisition cost of a client is quite high. Yeah. You know, you all the advertising and all that sort of stuff. So uh, we'd had to. We just thought there must be a better way where we're in total control. So we decided to go. Hey, how can we coach cli- uh, clients in the same res- way, automate the process, and um, uh, do it all through the internet? Yeah. So um, that's how that's what we did. We um, we put it, we lever um, we leverage the power of the internet. Okay. To actually so, be able to coach clients. Okay. So what what are maybe like uh, two or three specific things that you did that got your name outside of New Zealand? Okay. Um, we. <laughs> okay. The, the amazing thing with um, I think uh, when I learned about Skype and uh-huh. that you can actually ha- you, you can actually um, have. International phone numbers. Yeah. Okay. Through <laughs> through Skype. Yeah. That means, and um, for like twenty bucks a month, you can. And now, um, for twenty bucks a month, you can dial anywhere in the world for free. Yeah. That just opens your world up. You know, yeah, it's sure. like you can now all of a sudden you can pick up the phone with any English speaking. I can pick up the phone with any English speaking com- a country. Uh-huh. I can now target. I don't know. I can now. I can pick up the phone and call up. United Kingdom. I can call up Ireland. I can call up the United States yeah. and find and find partners. Uh, okay. You know, I can um, I can source partners. I can I can do a lot of things now. I can also pretend that I've got a U.S. office. Okay. Or a, you know you know I can that I can say tell people that I'm in a um, you know I'm based in another country. You can do a lot of things. Okay. And because because of that, you can actually build up your uh, credibility. You can we um, and now you can actually uh, find partners in different countries. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people just, uh, you know, they focus on their country. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was one of the things I decided early on is that I did not want to be a St. Louis-based business or a U.S.-based business. I am an English-speaking-based business. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> my only boundary. It sounds like you. It's my only boundary. So, and, yeah. that's, and that's cool. So it sounds like you used a lot of uh, joint venture-type uh, partnerships to build, your, to build your business and build your following. That's right. We did. We, um, we've, we targeted people that we felt they had a, um, a large database. Okay. Of clients that be, you know, like a similar, a similar um, target market, but different um, business altogether. Okay, so now obviously, when you started, you had no database or a very small database, probably from your from your UK based yep. business. Now, how did you go about promoting? from New Zealand? How did from you, our New Zealand? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, New Zealand. So, how did you go about promoting yourself to people who had a considerably larger list of or uh, a larger list than you did? Okay, we um we said that we would actually uh, split the profits with them. Mm-hmm. Okay, if they um we showed them testimonials that we showed them that hey this program works. Okay. Um and we so- showed that we were credible. We then said that hey if you can get us uh, if you blast out to your database an offer on our behalf, okay, uh, we will split profits with you. Okay. All you right? know and. In- uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and and they probably now the fitness is a large and competitive niche, and they probably get people every single day who who approach them like this. Why do you yes. think they said yes to you? Because I know that those people are saying no to a lot of people like you. Hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, I think the main thing is that we actually uh, we looked credible. We okay. um we had we had uh, before we did a lot of work beforehand. If you look at um our, our media page, we've featured in tons of magazines, like so many international and local magazines. We're featured in uh, magazines all over the U.S. Okay. Also, uh, magaz- magazines all over New Zealand, Australia. Um, so that that you got to build your credibility uh, yeah. in that respect. My wife's feature. Uh, you you type my wife's name into the internet, and she's uh, she's everywhere. Okay. So and um you know people. Uh, and once you um, show that you're credible, you're showing that you've got testimonials. If you go look at our websites, they've got um, a ton of testimonials on there from people who've done our programs. Okay. So, yeah, that was one of the things. And the thing is that they 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 they, they, they knew that their, their, their profit, mo- just for blasting out to their database, they were going to make a decent chunk of change. Yeah, okay. So, you know, and the other thing that I think is so fascinating is that even though that personal training uh, franchise model didn't work for you, Yep. It sounds like it got you a lot of results that you were then able to use as you took your business online. Absolutely, because 
what do we found in business that everything counts you know yeah. everything that you do that you, that you don't that you think may be a waste of time at yeah. one stage you know something you you created like a product that just bombed it didn't yeah. sell at all uh-huh. you know you you could use that product that you know like I don't know, one year down the track, you'll just go, oh my God, I could actually niche that product to something else, you know, yeah. and you use all that material. Yeah. Same with, um, you know, your websites that you create, you know, we've got yeah. several, do- you know, dozens of websites, you know, we'd think of a uh, product and we'll just go and book all the URLs for it on GoDaddy immediately. Yeah. And then we think, <laughs> And then all of a sudden we think, oh no, no, and we scrap the entire idea. But then, like six months, six, eight months down the track, we go, hey, we got that URL, you know, that domain name. Uh-huh. Let's create a product out of it, you know. <laughs> and so things that you think are a complete waste of time will, you know, always come in handy somewhere later down the track. If, if not now, it'll just come. Yeah, you just got to know that it'll come in handy somewhere, somewhere later. Yeah, sure, sure. What about what about technology? Who does your technology? Do you do all, all yourself? Um, yeah, here's the thing. I um, uh, my wife is a um, is a fitness expert and in all her and she she does a lot of the copywriting as well. Okay. And um, and I um, I do because of my engineering background. I actually like actually learning a lot of technology. Okay. I actually, I taught myself how to use Dreamweaver. I taught myself how to use Photoshop. Okay. Um, and um, also how to create videos and edit them as well. Okay. Um, so. I um th- those come in really handy, you know. I don't have to. I don't really have to hire it. Go out and hire a um a graphic designer or anything like that. I can sure. actually quit. You know, we can whip up a web page in like you know an hour. Yeah. <laughs> a website. Yeah. You know, and and start selling stuff. Okay. <laughs> so I will handle all the um back end type of thing. You know, I set all the marketing campaigns up. Um, all the technology side of things I can actually handle. Whereas my wife will um, handle all the um prog- product creation. Okay. And all the expertise behind the health and fitness side. Yeah. We're that's, pretty much a good team. That's that's awesome, and and it's and the thing that I think is so cool about that is you know your wife is working in her kind of core genius zone, her her fitness stuff that she loves and she's passionate about and she's good at. You're working yeah. with something that you love and you're good at, and and of course you know you you have the option to outsource that piece, right? I mean, if you wanted to go a different direction, you could certainly find somebody uh, to to do that technology piece and free you up to do something else in the in the business or something else altogether. Absolutely, like you know, we do have we, um, we, when the work is too much. We do have web, web programmers that are available immediately. Sure. Like right now, you know, we're having some problems with our servers, so we'd actually we've we've got a web tra- developer right now who's who's quite trustworthy and he yeah. handles all that side of things. You know, just the things that you know uh, for basic websites, you know, like, that we I, I can whip those up immediately. But for anything yeah. technical like programming, nothing. Yeah. I can't do any of that stuff. Okay. Sure. So th- there's no point in you learning that type of thing. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I totally. Agree. Yeah. I totally agree. So, uh, what is the before we wrap up? Here, I want to ask you two questions. So, first of all, what is the best part of this lifestyle that you and your wife live? Um, okay, the, one of the best parts is probably the um, is is definitely the freedom that we have. Okay, we don't have to answer to anybody. We're the ones who are solely responsible for our own financial destiny. Yep. Okay, yep. if we do, if we don't work or if we don't, um, you know, if, if we decide to have a day off, we can have a day off yep. whenever we want. We um, so I think the freedom is the is probably the one of the biggest things. Um, also, it, um, you know, I can, you know, we've, we've I've joined a gym over here in Budapest, you know, for six okay. weeks while I'm here, sure. you know, and uh, and that's I, I hit the gym first thing in the morning, you know, would um, me and my wife would have breakfast together afterwards. We'd um, after that we'd uh, go and sit down for a coffee and oh, um, tea, yeah. you know, and we just sit down and you know, and like about it would be ten thirty. You know, uh, or my wife would decide that hey, she wants to watch the latest episode of what's the latest episode, babe? Psych. <laughs> she wants to watch the latest episode of Psych, and that's her thing, you know. <laughs> so, so she'll watch. Uh, so that's her thing, and she'd um, she'd watch down, and, and then like about it's like about ten thirty, eleven o'clock, and hey, we we better start get we better get some work into it uh, yep. for the day. But yeah. it's just that option of doing things, you know, having choices. Yeah, that's that's the cool thing. I, you know, one of the things that I love is, uh, like, for example, it was a couple of days ago. I got this. I kind of got this inspiration for uh, this this uh, piece of content I was going to create for my business, and it was like yeah. one a.m. I got up and I yeah. did it, and I slept a little bit yeah. later the next day. And it's it's this it's so cool to be able to just follow your body's sort of natural rhythms and do what you want when you want. Um, last of all, I want to ask you, what is the most important piece of advice you would give to anybody else who wanted to do this for themselves? Okay, um, here, here's one thing. I've basically, I think, uh, over the last couple of weeks, I've been learning more of this. Okay. It's always um, okay. Th- 
stuff in business always is going to happen. You're going to always have it. Your to do your to do list is never is never ending. Yep. All right. Um, I think the best thing that you can do is put your big rocks first. Yeah. And the big rocks, I mean, is like um, work out, uh, work out on your uh, go work out, exercise all the time. Work, um, don't dismiss your relationship. Mm. Okay, put that first. So basically, working out, work on your relationship, and also um, reading. So you know, those are three, and and you know, go over your goals. Maybe those are three or four things that we do. I do first thing in the morning now. Okay. And um, and those are the big rocks. Excellent. And and then after that, put your then do your work on your business. Yeah, yeah. So you first, know because other yeah. So can you can you list out what were the three things you do first thing in the morning? Okay, I'd, first thing in the morning, I'd probably go over my goals. Okay. For, uh, for, for okay, second thing, I'd actually go and work out. I'd go okay. go, go hit the gym. Okay. Okay. Third third team uh, third thing where you know I'd actually read for okay. about half an hour to an hour. Excellent. Uh, fourth thing, and then actually like to um, don't forget your relationship. Okay. With okay. your with your spouse. Yeah. So you and your wife spend a little bit of time together yeah. in the morning, having a cup of tea or something like that, right? Yeah, that's right. Excellent. And um, you know, and and we have lunch together afterwards, and then you know, it's what it's, it's something that you just don't forget. Yeah. Um, because a lot of times, um, when we're first starting out in business, it was always the business came first. Yeah. Always. Yeah. You know, and it's quite often that can actually cause a lot of arguments and fights, and yeah. and um, you can lose your health and fitness quite quickly. Yeah. Um. So, uh, those are probably one of the biggest learnings that we've had over the last um couple of years. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well. I thank you so much for this conversation. This was awesome. It was so incredibly helpful. Uh, before we go, can you tell our listeners where they can go to get more information about uh, you and your wife's business? Okay. Um, first, you can just go to um, healthmasteryonline.com. All right. Healthmastery.com online. No, no. Health, uh, healthmasteryonline.com. Oh, okay. Healthmasteryonline.com. And we will put a link to that below this. And... Uh, Anything you else you want to leave our listeners with? Um, no, just um, basically um, don't give up on yourself. Um, you know, uh, uh, just keep going. You only fail if you give up. Excellent, great advice. Thank you so much for your time, Janik, and uh, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Fantastic, great. great. Thanks for joining us on the How to Quit Working Show. Tune in next time when we'll talk to another amazing person just like you who is now living the ultimate life of freedom and doing it on their terms. If you want to learn how to quit working and get these episodes delivered directly to you, visit howtoquitworkingshow.com.